And we start with breaking news. Right now, police are investigating a deadly shooting at an Albuquerque skate park on Lomas and Eubank in northeast Albuquerque. This is a live look of the scene this morning where police are still there investigating. Police tell us one person is dead. Several others are injured after shots rang out just before 10 o'clock last night. But that's about all police are saying right now. We have some video now showing what it looked like after officers arrived on scene. You can see several kids still at the park where there is a kid's playground softball fields nearby. Police are not saying what led to the shooting, but witnesses do say it started as a fight and then one man went to his car and grabbed a gun and started shooting. And for some, this deadly shooting is a reminder of the past at that skate park from beatings to fights caught on camera. Yet News 13's Catherine Mazone is live at Los Altos Skate Park with what she's dug up as we continue our team coverage this morning. Good morning, Catherine. Oh, that's right, Crystal. First, I want to show you what's going on behind me. As you can see, there are still multiple officers on scene here. Now, last we heard from them, they said it would take a while to process this scene. They say they have a lot of witnesses to talk to, and you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I can see a number of evidence markers behind me, a lot to sift through before they can figure out exactly what happened last night. And as you mentioned earlier, this this skate park has seen a lot of violence in the past. Now, it isn't the first time fights broke out. Back in December, three people were arrested for viciously beating a man. Two men and a woman were charged with kidnapping and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Three years ago in 2012, videos on YouTube surfaced showing the skate park home to brutal fights, some of the brawlers even wearing MMA gloves. One video even shows young children going at it. Now, after that, the city says they'd have workers at the city sports office keep a close eye, but that didn't keep violence from breaking out last night. One person is dead and several more are injured after someone started shooting. Witnesses say it started with a fight between two groups, possibly over a stolen skateboard. Moments later, they say someone went to his car and came back with a gun. That's when the chaos began. I don't know. I can't even explain it because I'm just hoping my sister's all right because I don't know really what happened, but they just start shooting and stuff and my my godmother and stuff were just holding their kids. You could see the fire from the guns and it wasn't even, it wasn't 10, it wasn't 15, it was like more than 30. You come out and you're just seeing bodies on the floor shot screaming, you know, it's, it's like a movie. Like now, none of the witnesses we spoke to say they actually saw the shooter, but one did say that they saw several people with guns at their sides. Now, I want to remind you that Lomas is open westbound, but it is still closed from Easter Day to Eubank heading eastbound. Back to you. All right, thanks for that information, Catherine. Very tense moments. Police have yet to identify the victims in last night's shooting. The woman you just heard from, she actually told us earlier that some stranger had to shield her son as the bullets were flying overnight. Now, KRQ News 13 will continue to follow this deadly shooting and bring you the very latest as it does develop on air and, of course, online. That's at krqe.com.